Welcome to my Persian Classics cooking course. Thank you so much for purchasing this course. I'm so excited to guide you on your Persian culinary journey. My goal is to help you recreate Persian authentic flavors in the comfort of your own home. Whether you are completely new to cooking or are a seasoned chef and simply want to expand your horizon, I got your back. One of the things I'm very proud of is and people make comments on my recipes saying they evoke their childhood memories and brought them back to Iran and that is precisely my aim to teach you the tips and tricks to make your Persian meal taste authentic and exactly like Mohan's food if you never tried Persian food before you will exactly know how it tastes by trying the dishes in this course and if you are already a fan of Persian cuisine you will get the flavor right every time and be super proud of your creation. There are a few things I want to mention about the structure of the course. If you are new to Persian ingredients, I would recommend watching the special Persian ingredients lecture first. Then, whether you are familiar with Persian food or not, I would watch the four lecture section on equipment to make sure you use the right tools and pans and it helps you to nail every dish in this course. Then just pick your favorite dish or anything that catches your eye and continue there. The few things to keep in mind are all the ingredients mentioned are for four portions. We can scale the amount of ingredients uh, to any number of portions you want to prepare. If you are making one of the dishes that they have fresh herbs in them, they need to be washed at least three hours or one day in advance. If you want to prepare a stew with rice, the general rule of thumb is once the stew has been simmering for half an hour, start preparing the rice. The only exception is Orma Sabzi because it takes longer to simmer. When you want to make Orma Sabzi, start preparing the rice once the stew has been simmering for one hour. If you have any questions, I'm always here for you. The quickest way to get in touch with me is emailing me at I got it from my mom on at outlook.com. I'm always happy to help and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now without further ado, let's get cooking. 